are going to Mars. That's right. The ship is complete. The engine is complete, ready to go. We're ready to take off. We've got access to all our controls here. Oh uh, yeah, this is Papa Jake over to NASA. We are currently at the Papa Jake mansion. Do we have clearance to go? All right, listen up, Philip, and listen up good. You are going to be going to Mars. You're going to be one of the first humans to step foot on the red planet. You're doing it today? There were absolutely no donuts up there, Philip. But in order to get to Mars, we need to make sure that you are at peak physical condition and ready. Now, space has a lot of obstacles. G-force, radiation, cold, negative pressure, black holes, potentially even aliens. Aliens? Today we are gonna simulate some of the hardships you will face in the rocket launching to Mars and landing to Mars. First of which is a velocity test. Jake, I'm not sure about this. All right, here we go. Jake. In three, two, one. Now keep yourself oh. in control. Do not Jake. let the dizziness get to you. You're controlling a spaceship. Jake. You are controlling a spaceship. Jake. Can you control the spaceship still, Phil? No. Hold on, Phil. Jake. What's one plus one? Jake. What's one plus one? Gee, what are you doing? You're gonna hurt Phil. Logan, we are doing a survival challenge on the red planet. And if we are going to the red planet with Phil, he needs to be ready for anything. I'm putting him through his NASA training test. I've read everything online. This is exactly what they do at NASA. It's exactly what they do. Phil, we're gonna take five and we're gonna get you in the inverter. Logan, this is going to be the biggest challenge we have ever faced on the channel. We've survived in the cold. We've survived in the desert. We've survived outside. That's all lame, dude. Think, think about it. Any, any other you YouTuber who wants to do a 24 hour challenge, they do it here on Earth. Well, that's kindergarten stuff. We're going up to Mars and we're gonna face everything it has. Phil, inverter, now. That's impossible, we can't go to Mars. What are you talking about? Logan, we very well can go to Mars. We built box forts that fly, drive, swim, go underwater, and we're gonna build one that will land us on the red planet and allow us to set up a colony. Phil, inverter. I don't wanna go to Mars. Phil, on Mars, there's gravity, yes, but in space, there's no gravity. You have to get used to no gravity. This is a zero G operational machine. It's gonna simulate negative G forces. All right, Phil. Are you sure it's safe? It's 100% safe. Okay. All right, first we're gonna simulate a rocket launch at about 700 Gs. Are you ready, Phil? No. Okay, here we go. Rocket launch out. All right, you're entering the atmosphere. Can you handle the G forces, Phil? Okay, now you're upside down, Phil. All the blood is rushing to your head, Phil. Jake, Jake, what are you doing? What's seven Jake. plus seven? Logan! Where are you pulling the landing gear? Jake! You're good. How do you get yourself out of this situation? But Logan, you're helping. You can't help him. Jake, this is... I, I didn't do all this. You think I just got this jacket for doing nothing? You think I just walked in to the closet, put this jacket on, put these goggles yes, on? Jake, that's literally what you did. I what? saw you do it this morning. You have not done any of this training. That's because I don't need to. I'm already space ready. Phil's not space ready. Look at that. He's passed out. Phil, wake up. We're all three of us going to Mars, Logan. And I can't have a single one of us be in a loose chain because you know what happens? One loose chain and the whole chain is broken and then you've got a broken chain and no one wants a broken chain, Logan. All right, Phil, let's take 20. We're gonna do this. Hey, yo, what is going on, everyone? It's Papa Jake, and today we are back with a brand new video, and today we are going to Mars. That's right, we are going to... Oh, wow, this thing really is. Jake, we're going to hypothetical Mars. We're not physically going to Mars, but we're gonna simulate going to Mars. Well, yeah, so we've done a lot of challenges on this channel, as you guys know. We survived in a lot of different places, but we want to survive on the red planet. And it is possible. I mean, if you know anything about Mars, you could theoretically, if you had the technology and the money, set up a colony on Mars. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna simulate it to the extreme. We have done hours of research. We have read scientific papers. We have even emailed Elon Musk, which he did not reply to, but that's not the point. The point is we are going to be surviving on Mars for as long as we physically can. And we're going to be following all the rules and laws of physics that you would be met with on Mars. So it starts in this video, guys. We are going to be building our spaceships that is going to take us to the red planet. Now, keep in mind, you keep calling it the red planet. That's, that's a cool way of saying Mars. It's, it's simpler. It's red planet, Mars. Okay, I guess Mars is easier to say. All right, we're going to be building a spaceship to take us to Mars. And keep in mind, guys, because we're doing this for real, everything that we are going to use in the video, water, 
food, supplies, things to navigate radiation, we're our gonna, suits. We're gonna have to bring all of it on our rocket ship. Oxygen, TV shows, everything needs to come on the rocket ship that we are building today. Once we land on the planet, we can set up our stuff, but again, following very specific rules. We'll have to get our own food sources by growing food ourselves, using filters to produce clean water, and of course, we will have an oxygen limit when traveling outside and exploring the planet, plus a lot of fun and cool different challenges that we are gonna sprinkle in when we least expect it. I will be in charge of all food, water, and oxygen. Essentially, everything we need to survive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not everything, Logan. You can't make it sound like you got the biggest role because in fact, I have the biggest role here. I'm gonna be in charge of building the actual colony that we are gonna set up. That means radiation defenses, power, solar panels to charge our batteries. I'll, I'll admit, I know nothing about that, Jake, so good thing you're doing that. Yeah, so we're gonna split up now. We are both gonna take our areas. We are both going to use our expertise in our areas to bring everything we can, and it all starts with our rocket that we are gonna be building today and blasting off in. Phil, what, what's your expertise? We're gonna build this rocket. Okay, so Phil is our builder, our main engineer, so to speak. I don't think that's a good idea, but oh, okay. Phil, you can be our builder. If you guys are excited for us to go to Mars, smash that like button. Let's try and get 25,000 likes for us to go to Mars and live there. And if you guys haven't already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell button and comment hashtag squad so you guys can be a part of the squad because we are only living on Mars for as long as you guys want. So click that like button, comment down below. We could be up there for quite literally 40 years. Hopefully not. Now for the rocket that's gonna get us there, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a different build. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have a bottom section here, which is gonna be filled with all of our cargo. Now remember, everything in this cargo bin is what we can take to Mars. So anything we forget or don't bring with us that's not in here, it can't come with us. Now at the top of this, we are gonna have the rocket. I mean, hence the reason it kinda looks like rocket. It actually looks like a little house. But for the top of the rocket, we are gonna have me and Logan in the control seats here, which will be facing up. So essentially you're gonna have us on our backs looking up as the rocket takes off like, like into that. the clouds. Just like that. And we'll have all of our controls inside here. So this is basically where our life support system is gonna be along with our spacesuits, which I'm gonna get to in a little bit because we're gonna have some upgrades to our spacesuits. Other than that, we're gonna have a thruster system at the bottom, which will produce the thrust for the rocket and get us to Mars. And this little tiny capsule here is what's actually gonna land on the red planet. This will detach and land itself. So once we land on the surface of Mars, we'll have a big old square with all of our supplies, a little tiny capsule that we landed in, and a ton of open space to build our habitat. Pretty simple, right? But now we need to build it. Okay, so here is our rocket ship. So far, it's three stories. So right down here, we're gonna have our inventory, everything we're bringing to Mars. And up here is the cockpit where Jake and I are gonna be controlling the ship. We're gonna have monitors on the ceiling so we can control the ship. There's a lot of technical stuff we have to do to this rocket ship, but so far, the frame is looking awesome. I think we're gonna be ready to leave Earth in like T minus six hours? Okay guys, so I'm in charge of the suits as well as the building on Mars as you guys know. So the first thing I'm gonna be working on is the suits because a lot of my other tasks are gonna happen once we get on Mars. I also have to create a Martian dune buggy that we can use to drive around when we go out onto the surface. But I wanted to give you guys a rundown of how the suits are looking as of right now. I still have a lot to do, but basically I've completely redesigned them. So I'm gonna have LEDs on the outside of our space helmets, which is going to illuminate the surface when it's dark. I'm also gonna have LEDs on the inside, which is gonna help. And I'm gonna have LEDs on the suits themselves, which are going to be signals not only to uh, one another where we are, but are also going to signal us of one of the most important things, and that is oxygen. So on the Martian surface, we need oxygen to breathe. So we have these oxygen tanks, which we'll have to be carrying around on the back of our suits. Now to simulate actually being out on Mars, because we're not going to be able to go through oxygen as fast as we would, we have these stopwatches. So basically, we're going to have 15 minutes from the time that we leave our base to the time we get back before we run out of air. If we lose track of this, or if if one of us uses up too much oxygen because they came out early, uh, we're gonna have to get back fast because once we don't have oxygen, you gotta hold your breath. And if you can't hold your breath, well, you lose the challenge. Luckily for us, if we lose the challenge here, you know, it's not that bad. But if we were actually on Mars, it would be pretty horrible. We also have our gloves because no part of our body can be exposed. So these are gonna simulate the gloves that we'd be using on Mars. Uh, they're a little clunky, they're a little funky, and they're hard to use. But again, if we're using tools and stuff like that, we're gonna have to get used to these because we wanna make this as real as possible. So I've got our Mars buggy here 
here that we're going to be using on the actual surface of Mars. Of course, it is electric powered because everything we're going to be using on the surface is going to have to be powered by solar energy. And we got to fix it up a little bit to make it appropriate for the surface. I was really hoping to actually build like an enclosure around the buggy so that we could make it so that we can actually go even farther because then we can stack oxygen tanks on it and last longer than the 15 minutes that we would normally have. That might be something I can do once we get to the surface of Mars, but for now, the buggy is going to be how it is. So if you guys think I should build and upgrade this buggy, definitely leave a comment down below. And obviously, if you want us to continue the series, smack that like button. Well, let's try and figure out what's going on with this thing because uh, as of right now, it's just, it's not working. <sighs> Pushing on the gas here, nothing's working. Let's uh, pop the hood here. Okay, hood's popped and it looks like we have the battery. Battery is connected, but I'm going to assume that it might be out of batteries. Otherwise, we're gonna be in a bit of a pickle here. So I'm gonna grab a charger and charge this thing up and hopefully this will work because uh, we're blasting off in probably less than an hour or two and I still have a ton of stuff to do. All right guys, so things are coming together. The ship is starting to look good. We don't have all the power set and ready yet, uh, but we've got the cockpit almost completely done. As as you guys can see, uh, we're running power systems. Everything is checking out and looking good. Uh, we still have a little bit to do, but we are almost ready to take off. We still got to pack this thing, Logan, with all of our supplies. We also have to fit the doom buggy in there and we have to get suited up. But within, uh, I'm gonna say about 30 minutes, we should be good to take off. Start heading to the red planet. If you guys come over to the back of the ship, in here we have the engine room. This is our engine. I still need to sort out some power, but this is the room that is going to fuel the ship and get us to the red Red planet. All right, guys, so we have the engine working. Everything is powered on in the engine room. Uh, we still haven't filled up the cargo bay entirely, but I'm gonna do a quick little power test of the thrusters. We have our liquid oxygen that is basically being transferred into the spaceship up top. And uh, this is one of the thrusters. We have three of these around the ship. So we're gonna give it a little test here. Okay, it looks like the thrusters are hot and ready to go. So uh, guys, I think in T minus 10 minutes, we'll be taking off. Okay, so the rocket is complete. We are putting its last bit of luggage in. Like I said, I'm in charge of food, water, vegetation, so we can grow more food once we're in Mars. This is the last of it. Into the cargo bay. The cargo bay is full of everything we need. The ship is complete. The engine is complete, ready to go. We're ready to take off. Okay, guys, but before we take off, we are going to go inside the cockpit and show it off to everyone. Just give you guys a look at to also make sure things are working. Yeah, we got to make sure the systems are working and that we can fit properly. It's going to be cramped. Now, keep in mind, we are going to be wearing spacesuits and space helmets, so it's going to be even more cramped. But uh, let's go ahead and get in here. Okay, so Jake pretty much broke the cockpit trying I to get inside. Break it. All right, I got inside properly. <laughs> this is so small. It's small, man, but you, when you no. go into space, you gotta make it small okay. or else you're not gonna get there. Okay. Plus, we had to bring a lot of cargo, so the less weight we have on the top, the better. Oh, no. Okay, one second, I just gotta get my foot <laughs> over here. There we go. Okay, okay, I'm in. How long's the trip to Mars? <laughs> no. uh, the trip to Mars is- How long's the trip to Mars, Jake? <laughs> it's like almost a year. <laughs> A year in this? <laughs> yeah. So get comfy, buddy. We're in here for a whole year. So essentially, we'll be sitting like this as we blast off. We've got access to all our controls here. Wow, this is actually kind of comfy once you settle in. Yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm going to power up the systems here, and we are going to make sure that the thrusters are working. I did a pre-power on before we actually got in here. So. Okay, I'm going to do my thrust. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about this that's very funny. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna power on my... <laughs> Just power on the ship, Logan. It's the start. I made it so okay. easy for you. Okay. So I was like, Logan's not gonna know what to do. It's the button. Okay, yeah. here we go. No, you didn't turn. Okay, I'm turning it all on. No. <laughs> you didn't. Just press this you, button. No, right? you don't. No, no, do not press that right now. Look, look, turn this off. Okay, look at this, look at this. Ready? One, two, three. Now they're primed. Now the big button. And then you press it. Okay, but we're not gonna press it because we're not going to Mars well, yet. No, we're not going to Mars yet. This monitor is actually gonna show us a live view of what we're seeing outside the aircraft. Uh, looks like life support systems are online, emergency systems are online, okay. oxygen levels are good. You know, it's just me, you, and Phil. Who are you talking to on the headset? This is NASA, because anyone going to space needs clearance from NASA. Oh uh, yeah, this is Pop Jake over to NASA. We are currently at the Pop Jake mansion, uh, getting ready for a uh, test here. We are uh, gonna be taking off in about 10 
minutes. Do we have clearance to go? I mean, I guess we have to put our spacesuits on. Space. So we also gotta get Phil in here, or else we're gonna leave him behind. But we're uh, we're pretty much ready. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, we are ready and all set to take off to Mars, which will be in the next video. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. If you guys think this series is gonna be awesome, if you can't wait to see us survive, I don't know how long we're gonna be able to survive, but I mean, the more likes we get, the more support we get from you guys, the longer we will go. So smack that like button, and we will see you in the next video. We're going to Mars. We're going to Mars, guys. This has been Papa Jake and Logan. And we'll see you guys next time for a rocket-filled video.